I noticed that the elements for the Manipura and Svadhisthana are different for Western and Eastern systems. If we are practicing in a Western magical tradition and switching over from the Eastern, how does that change our energy structure? This can cause negative changes, as it requires going through a kind of internal breakdown. And it's not so much a question of how and in what sequence you practice, but rather of the esoteric tradition into which you were born. That is, whether you are an Eastern or Western person by blood. Because our energy structure, specifically the connection between the chakras and the elements, is an innate quality, not an acquired one. If you are of Western origin, your channels of interaction with the elements will be aligned with those of the Western tradition. Not because it is written that way. It is written that way because it reflects the way things truly are, as nature intended them to be. For instance, in the Western tradition, earth is associated with Maladhara, fire with Svadhisthana, water with Manipura, and air with Anahata. In the Eastern tradition, the feminine elements of earth and water come before the masculine elements of fire and air. This means that in the Eastern system, fire and water occupy different positions and have different associations. But what is the position and association of an element? It is, first and foremost, a magical component and the frequency at which a particular chakra works. Therefore, when a Western person begins to practice Eastern traditions, he inevitably has to go through a breakdown, and this breakdown will occur at the level where these frequencies change. For example, in Eastern practice, your Svadhisthana chakra, your etheric body, or the body of sensations, should be associated with water not fire, while Manipura should be associated with fire, not water. This implies changes in your character, worldview, bodily sensations and physiology. That's why I never advise anyone to go through such a breakdown unless it is due to a magical geist or a strong need to undergo a significant energetic transformation in this incarnation. Because if it's done out of fashion or whim, the harm from such a breakdown will far outweigh any expected benefit. In any case, pay attention to your blood first, and then to everything else. From my experience and knowledge, I can confidently say that the blood will always prevail.